Hello and welcome to Pine Foundation Design. In this video, we are going to be discussing using a simple guide formula to check out product structure. Select a specific number of pies on a pie cap and we will proceed to knowing the axial load that is to be used to design each of these pies on this pie cap successfully. On this particular pie cap, we have five numbers of pies, and on this one, we have eight numbers of pies. And so we are to be using the simple guide formula to check how these numbers of pies on these pie caps are being selected successfully. This is a seven floors or the building project. We are going to be considering in this presentation. This project is done successfully. As we proceed into the presentation, don't forget to like and subscribe so as to stay tuned for more useful content of this kind. Let us make progress as we navigate to the plan view. So here we go. At first, let's look at this pie cap that is having an axial load of 5,688.1 kN in the design of pile and pie cap. The use of sensibility limit state load and ultimate limit state load plays a major role in the design of both pile and pie cap. And so, for us to be able to confirm the total number of pies on this pie cap, you will need to know the following. One, how to combat the axial load, which is the ultimate wasted load to sensibility wasted load. That is one. Two, you have to know the diameter of the pie. Just as I place my comb, as I place my pointer on this pie, you can see the pie parameters. The diameter of this pie is 650 millimeters, right there. Okay, so we need to convert this unfactored data life load, which is the axial load generated by these columns 1C23 from the ultimate limit state to the sensibility limit state. And to do that, we'll be using a simple guide formula as we will have to key in 568.1 right there divided by 1.5 the 1.5 right there is the factors of safety so once you divide this you have converted the ultimate limit state load to serviceability limit state load click on the impost and then you can enable the decimal to check that you have 3792.0 kilo newton. So, having gotten this now, we will now use this value to devise the pi diameters, which will eventually give us the total numbers of piles that is on this pi cap successfully. So, let's do that. So, you, you select device and you key in 650 millimeters, which is the pi diameters, and equals. So, you can see here we are 5.8. Product structure has approximated to five numbers of pies on this pi cap successfully. So, that is a simple guide formula that you can use to check the numbers of pies on the pi cap successfully. Okay, now we proceed to know the axial load that is being carried by these pies. Okay, so for you to know the axial load that is carried on this pile, you can just place your pointer on the pile. Okay, in the pile informations right there, you can see the maximum axial load right there. 
which is 1280.6 kN for this pile number 676. Alright, then for this pile number 675, we are having 1222. So it all on the same page. If you check this, it should be also 1.2 thereabout. Alright, but how do you check that manually? You check that not manually by using the ultimate limit state load which is of the unfactored dead load and light load we are having it here to be 5688.1 kN the way you use this load to divide by the numbers of pies which will give you a figure that may be closed to the maximum axial load that we are seeing in the pile information right there so straight away if you take in 5688.1 device by we have five numbers of pies right here so divide it by five and impost and you will have 1137.62 all right and over here if you place your cursor or your pointer on the pie you can see the maximum axial load on this pile is 1.2 and we are having 1.1 okay or due to an unforeseen circumstances, product structure has applied the factors of safety, all right, which make this figure to rise to 1.2 something instead of 1.1 that is being calculated successfully. So, if you are to design this pie right away, you are going to use this maximum hazard load, which is 1.2 to 5 for kilonewton, right, to design this particular pie, and you are going to extract this. To make sure your design is very effective all right so that is the method that i actually used to design each of these pies successfully and designing your pie that cannot be done in this product structure modeling modules that is done in the product details modules product structure modeling modules will help you to design the pie cap which as you can see all of this pie cap has been designed successfully all right and also it will also select the numbers of pies on the pie cap, which we have also checked and confirmed it successfully in this video. Alright, so pie foundation design cannot be done without the geotechnical information of the construction site of the project. Alright, so you should also take note of that. But that is not covered in the video of today. Maybe in the next video we will go in detail and explain that successfully all right this video this brings us to the end of this presentation don't forget to like do not also forget to subscribe to this channel so freezing and stay tuned as i will be bringing more useful presentations to us on this channel on pi foundations to make sure we have a good knowledge on how to carry out Pi foundation design successfully okay and also want to invite you to our ongoing training on this program successfully we train you on all type of foundation design successfully okay so you can't join us for the reach to us the link in the description of this video and you are welcome see you in the class right there stay safe and have a great day bye for now